Yes, Mayor. Uh, bill list for September 1, 2020, for department totals. Public affairs, $17,516.98. Revenue and finance, $3,121,737.21. Public safety, $25,150.55. Public works, $32,165.69. Parks and public property, $571,718.46. Water utility, $140,354.46. Um, August 21st, overtime payroll total, $29,880.55. ASEA storm overtime payroll total, $163,057.83. COVID-19 overtime payroll total, $7,000. $770.97. Total payroll, $1,058,400.71 for a grand total of $4,967,044.06. Move the bills. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. That's it for bills, Mayor. Thank you. We will now take public comment on agenda items only, please. All persons addressing the Board of Commissioners regarding community concerns should provide their name and address for the record. Unless further time is granted by the Board, each person shall limit their address to three minutes. All remarks to the Board and its individual members must be addressed to the Mayor. The Mayor may defer citizens' comments to the appropriate member of the Board. Seeing none, we will move along to Board of Commissioner announcements. Commissioner Evans? I'm good. Commissioner Kelly? I'm good as well. Commissioner Scarpelli? No announcements tonight, Mayor. Commissioner Petrocco? Nothing at all, Mayor. Thank you. I have one brief announcement. Uh, to date, we have been reimbursed through um, the CARES Act at $551,377.29, and we have pending an additional $595,000. $330.54. The majority of this money has gone to uh, remote government operations to make sure that people can continue to um, access their government in a safe and accessible way, and we will give you updates as we continue. I see we have uh, no ordinance for introductions this evening, uh, but we do have our first ordinance on second reading, ordinance number 3450, sponsored by Commissioner Scarpelli. Does anyone want to be heard on this? There's no one in the room. Seeing no one, uh, Mayor, I will, will we close the public hearing. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. We move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Second ordinance on second reading this evening is ordinance number 3451, sponsored by Commissioner Evans. Does anyone want to be heard on this ordinance? There's no one there. No one, Commissioner. I, uh, this is an ordinance on second reading to change the title uh, uh, only in our salary ordinance. I move we close the public hearing. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Move the ordinance. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petrocco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. We will move into uh, resolutions. Commissioner Kelly. Thank you, Mayor. I have uh, three tonight. Uh, the first one is to cel or not celebrate, but raise awareness regarding prostate cancer because September is National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, so whereas there are more than 3.1 million men in the U.S. who have been diagnosed with prostate cancer, and whereas one in nine males in the United States will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetimes, and whereas the American Cancer Society's estimates 
in the United States for 2020, about 191,930 new cases of prostate cancer and about 33,330 deaths due to prostate cancer. Whereas aside from non-melanoma skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common cancer among men in the United States. It is also one of the leading causes of cancer death among men of all races and, Hispa of all races and Hispanic origin populations. Whereas prostate cancer occurs mainly in older men, about six in 10 cases are diagnosed in men ages 65 or older and it is rare before age 40. The average age at the time of diagnosis is about 66. And whereas males in the United States with one family member diagnosed with prostate cancer have a 33% chance of being diagnosed with the disease, males with two close family members diagnosed have an 83% chance, and males with three family members diagnosed have a 97% chance. Whereas there are no noticeable symptoms of prostate cancer while in the early stages, making screening critical. Educating people in the United States, including healthcare providers about prostate cancer and early detection strategies is crucial to saving lives of males and preserving and protecting families. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, declare September as National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Be further resolved that we all urge all men and their families in the Township of Nutley to seek assistance in obtaining the facts and information about prostate cancer and encourage residents to support efforts and activities that bring awareness and education to finding a cure. So moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Bisacco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Uh, the second resolution I have is 191-20. Uh, uh, this is uh, because September is also National Blood Cancer Month. Uh, I've had, uh, personally, I've had friends who suffered from this uh, and luckily they were able to beat it. So this is also something close to me. Uh, whereas leukemia, lymphoma, lymphoma, myeloma, and myelodysplastic syndromes, MDS, are types of cancer that can affect the bone marrow, blood cells, lymph nodes, and other parts of the lymphatic system. Whereas approximately every three minutes, one person in the United States is diagnosed with blood cancer. And whereas an estimated combined total of 178,520 people in the United States are expected to be diagnosed with leukemia, lymphoma, or myeloma in 2020. Whereas new, ca new cases of leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma are expected to account for 9.9% of the estimated 1,806,590 1, new cancer cases diagnosed in the U.S. in 2020. And whereas blood cancers can be extremely complex with some patients requiring bone marrow and stem cell transplants as part of their treatment. Whereas an estimated 1,297,027 people in the US are either living with or in remission from leukemia, lymphoma, or myeloma. Whereas the, the health and vitality of residents, the residents of Nutley are significantly enhanced by local efforts to increase communication and education pertaining to blood cancers and raising general awareness of the disease. Now, therefore, be resolved that the Board of Commissioners in the Township of Nutley, County of Essex, State of New Jersey, recognizes September as National Blood Cancer Month, and I'll urge all citizens in Nutley to support efforts and activities that bring awareness and education to finding a cure for blood cancers during the month of September and throughout the year. So moved. Second, and I also would comment that um, as it relates to leuke leukemia, lymphoma, and multiple myeloma, that's the actual focus of research that is currently underway at the Center for Discovery and Innovation at the Nutley campus site for Hackensack Medical Center. Uh, they've done significant uh, research and it's advancing every, every day, but it's right here, local in Nutley. This is a major center for research for blood-based cancer. So that comment I'd make, okay, second. Thank you. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Pisacco? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Uh, this second or third resolution that I have and last resolution I have tonight is 192-20. This is uh, something that is being sponsored by both myself and Commissioner Petraco. Uh, given especially the state of the, the pandemic and everything, uh, it's, it's National Preparedness Month as well. And so we, we always want to be prepared for any eventuality. Uh, and so this, this resolution is to, to support those efforts. Whereas every year, communities across our country face emergencies from unforeseen natural disasters to deliberate acts. And whereas during the month of September, we encourage residents to re-educate themselves in the important task of being prepared in the face of any crisis. Whereas the best time to prepare for an emergency 
is before it happens. Residents should take the time to review their own emergency plans and update their emergency kits. And whereas by discussing with our families, friends, and neighbors how we will protect ourselves and our communities, we can contribute to the share in a stronger, more resilient society. And whereas federal, state, and local agencies have resources to share with the community as to how to put personal emergency kits and plans, such as www.ready.gov and www.fema.gov, and now therefore it be resolved that the Board of Commissioners in the Township of Nutley, the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, recognize September as National Preparedness Month and encourage all Nutley residents to encourage the importance of preparedness and work together to enhance our resilience and readiness. So moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petrarco? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Evans? Uh, thank you. Uh, my first resolution, resolution is 186 there's 20. It actually uh, addresses resolution 50, 158.20 entitled refund for overpayment of, of taxes, which was adopted by the board on July uh, 21. They, uh, there was a credit in the account. There is no longer a credit as a result of it being absorbed with the uh, third quarter uh, taxes that were due August 1st. So therefore, the Board of Commissioners resolve uh, that uh, resolution number 15820 is hereby res rescinded. So moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petrocco? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. 18720 be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley and County of Essex, Essex State of New Jersey that the Treasurer be in chiefs hereby authorized to refund overpayment of order charges in the amount of $1,626.44 for Block 800, Lot 1, uh, qualifying code C3018, uh, so moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petrocco? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Resolution 19320, uh, whereas the law firm of Inglesino Webster with Scala Taylor LLC, 600 Percipany Road, Suite 204, Percipany, New Jersey, was awarded through resolution number 294-19, a non-fair and open contract as a professional service pursuant to the provisions of NJSA 19 44A 20.5 to provide legal services to the Board of Commissioners for the Township of Nutley concerning compliance and procedural issues involving Open Public Meetings Act and Open Public uh, Records Act. Whereas given the significant volume of OPA requests that have been processed uh, to date and the continuing need to be responsive to the high volume of these requests, these services will exceed the contract amount of uh, $50,000 as amended by change order number one, uh, thus necessitating the need for the following change order. Change order number two, to provide legal services uh, not to exceed $60,000. Thus funds are available from account uh, 001-226-205 will be certified by the Chief Financial Officer subject to the adoption of the 2020 municipal budget. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State, New Jersey. The change order number two in the amount of $60,000 be and is hereby approved. So moved. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petrocco? Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Uh, my last uh, resolution of 194-20 Whereas Code Enforcement Department has received a payment for Phase 1 Roadway Bond for Seton Hall, uh, Hackensack Meridian School, Kingsland Street Urban Renewal LLC in the amount of $29,526.50 from PB Nut Plus Care of Prison Property Services, LLC, 200 Broad Acres Drive for property located at 340 Kingsland Street. And whereas Phase 1 Roadway Bond of uh, $29,526.50 was collected and deposited in account C15-912-911. Uh, and whereas the planning board has reviewed and determined that the $29,526.56 uh, uh, bond is uh, uh, due uh, to be refunded to PB Nutliff care of prison property. Now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley County of Essex State of New Jersey that the Township Treasurer being is hereby authorized to refund the 10% cash portion of the performance bond in the amount of $29,526.50 to PB Nutcliffe Care of Prison Properties LLC, uh, Prison Property uh, Services LLC. So moved. Second. 
Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Pasquale? Aye. Commissioner Scarfelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nulli in the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Township Treasurer B and G is hereby authorized to refund $100 to the below listed for a refund of payment for a municipal parking permit, permit for Cole Caputo, 17 Sherwood Lane, Frank Montanez, 88 King Street, remove the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly? Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Pasquale? Aye. Commissioner Scarfelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. That's all I have, Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Petraco? Mayor, I'm pleased to say I do not have a thing tonight. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. All right. Be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley, the County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the Treasurer B, and she is hereby authorized to refund payments for recreation programs in the amounts listed below. ZYN Restaurants, Inc. for the Franklin Spring Festival in the amount of $100 for the year 2020. Sean McAloon for track in the amount of $60 for the year 2020. 153 Vreeland Avenue for the Bleepful Wellness. Uh, in the amount of $50 for 2020 and 544 East Passaic for Gle Gleeful Wellness in the amount of $50. I move the resolution. Second. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarfelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. Whereas raffle applications have been received from the following organizations, the Home and School Association of Good Shepherd Academy license number 2320 for calendar raffle, all Mondays from December 7, 2020 through February 22nd, 2021, and the Rotary Club of Nutley license number 24-20, off-premise 50-50 cash raffle, Thursday, November 19th, 2020, whereas the applications have been reviewed and approved by the Municipal Clerk and Police Department, now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of Township of Nutley and County of Essex, State of New Jersey, that the aforementioned licenses are approved, the Municipal Clerk is authorized to issue said licenses. I move the resolution. Second. Aye. Commissioner Evans? Aye. Commissioner Petraco? Aye. Commissioner Scarfelli? Aye. Mayor Tucci? Aye. That concludes our business portion of the agenda for this evening. We will now open the meeting up to the public for five minutes each. There's nobody there? There's nobody there, Mayor. Okay, we do in fact need a brief executive session this evening, so I'll entertain a motion to go into close. Second. Whereas Section 8 of the Open Public Meeting Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, permits the exclusion of the public from meeting in certain circumstances. And whereas the public body is of the opinion that such circumstances exist, and whereas the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nelly in the County of Essex and State of New Jersey desires to proceed to close executive session, and now therefore be resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the Township of Nutley, move into closed executive session to discuss potential litigation. Be it further resolved that the time when such discussion may be made, may be disclosed to the public, shall be, shall be uh, uh, when and as such disclosure may be made without adversely affecting the Township of Nutley, pending and or anticipated legal, personnel, and contractual matters, and other matters within the exceptions provided for by statute. Commissioner Kelly. Aye. Commissioner Evans. Aye. Commissioner Petraco. Aye. Commissioner Scarpelli. Aye. Mayor Tucci. Aye. And when we come out of executive session, we will not be taking any action. And the time is now 727. I'll take credit. I'll take credit.